All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching us later on over there. For our next deck in our 12-hour uh, stream today is we have some Azorius midrange. So we're, we're playing in an Azorius deck uh, where we're not necessarily control. Usually Azorius uh, is all about control, but we got some got some creatures. We have Tithe Taker, History Benalia, get some early beats in, and then we have some big flyers here with our angels with Resplendent, Shalai, and Lyra. Uh, to go along with them, we have Teferi, which is just a you know just the the best um, Azorius card out there. It's just really powerful. Um, we have a couple entrancing melodies. If our opponent's trying to play some creatures that, you know, maybe we want their creatures to be able to to attack them with. Um, chart, of course, an opt to help uh, give our deck some consistency and find what we need. And uh, some seal aways for removal and then negates for counter magic. So that's what we got going on here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. with some Azorius mid-range. Yeah, we have green mana for Shalai activation. Oh, so track team, okay, track team, you've been playing a deck like this and you really have like the deputies? It is a good point that Shalai does make Deputy better. That is a very good point. Ugh. Why can't you be Baffling End? Maybe our opponent will attack. And then before damage, activate. Wow. So perfect. That worked out so well. They waited till the last second to activate. Go, history, go. No, history, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um. Wow. Those things are big. Things are real big. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Trust me, I'm not ready for this quite yet. All right, tuck that. Have both of those attack Vivian. This attack them. I always survive. You'll see. They can, of course, just activate their Hellkite to be able to kill Teferi if they want. But basically, I'm kind of relying on this Lyra getting in 20 it's only a matter quickly. Of time. That's a good card. Oops. Okay. And that's it. So I wanted to wait on Teferi to be able to tuck the re Rekindling Phoenix again. That's what I was wanting to wait for. So Binding is good against Phoenix. 
But Binding is not good against Vivian. I mean, like, taking their Vivian is certainly good with Binding, I suppose. Um, yeah, good call. They're going to be playing a bunch of Collision Colossuses. Yeah, Collision Colossus is going to be annoying. Man, track team, I wish you would have said something before. I, I would have just played your list, because, you know, basically the same, but since you've been playing it so much, yeah, I would have just played your, your list. I didn't know. I didn't know. <sighs> that would have been probably good. Yes, Naya Huatli is a, was a token deck. Um, which I need to get uploaded to... YouTube or I can't tell if that's Esper Deputy or Naya Huali that okay I've already updated I've already uploaded Naya Huali okay Yeah, I'm going to try the Disdainful Strokes and a couple Baffling Ends for, like, their early threats. They're going to have, like, a bunch of Crowl Harpooners and Collision Colossus. This is going to be tough. Oh, it's okay, track team. This is going to be a tough matchup, I think. I don't know. I just didn't like the two lander with such a such a heavy top end there. That opening hand. Obviously, for what our hand looks like now, I, I wish I would have kept the seven. They miss a land drop or something? Like, why do I have more lands than my opponent? Yeah, I guess they miss a land drop. We'll see if they have, like, Collision to be able to kill Shalai or Harpooner, because I want to be able to attack and get this chart, of course, if possible. And now Resplendent Angel, like, this is perfect for us because we get to activate Resplendent Angel next turn, no matter what, because they're not going to have removal for it. Because they have, because we have Shalai. Our guys in the way. All right. Think we got this? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, good old Resplendent Angel.
Alright, let me do some type in here, Hawkeye. Okay? Let me get this Asper duplicate up here. The opponent's trying to figure out some way to stay alive right now and doesn't seem to be finding one. Alright, yeah, Badonk, hopefully that, that, uh, yeah, best of luck. I'm glad the interview went well. I remember yesterday you were, you were saying that you were off to the interview and everything, so yeah, glad it went well. Um, yeah, best of luck. Yeah, if our opponent blocked July, they would have taken lethal because, as you can see, they're at one right now because they blocked they blocked four power. They would have blocked July, which is three power. They would have taken lethal. Okay, nice, Crystal. Yeah, glad you like the Sultai Sandy list. Looks like our opponent disconnected. Alright, Azorius midrange starts with a win. I thought that was going to be a little more difficult, but our opponent missed land drops. Um, and did not have a bunch of harpooners and collisions and stuff like that for us, so... Just have to wait out the rope. And I can get some of this done. Want more cat? Okay. Here's a cat. More cat, more cat. No, yeah, so I, I have really haven't been putting together any Abzan decks, honestly. The the Legends deck, of course, was was a was a viewer's deck, wasn't mine. The the Abzan Legends that we played earlier. But no, that that's like the only Abzan deck that I've played um, in a real long time. So we only have the one white source. Um, let's try. We got 17 white sources in here, so 16 more. Plus try to course or opt. Those would both be very good draws, and we're on the draw. We hit our land drops. We got a real strong curve here against Mono Red. Move your butt. Alright, let me negate something. Dang, they didn't let me negate anything. So playing the history, it's you know multiple bodies, it take like you know a couple burn spells for them to kill the tokens. 
and everything. All right, going upstairs. <clears throat> Shalai should be really great for us next turn. Please don't kill me, opponent. We do need another land to be able to play... Do need another land to be able to play this Lyra. Land Lyra? No, not land Lyra. Still not a land. Shenanigans. Shalai is so good here. All right, shock yourself. I don't care. You can shock yourself. Oh, you want to target me? No, I got hexproof. I'm Gideon. So now I don't think we need to keep our negate up. I think we can just seal away this chain whirler if they attack. They did not attack. Hooray, Lyra, and the game's over. Yeah, the only thing the green mana does is allow us to activate Shalai sometimes. Take me out. Take me out. All right, baffling end, baffling end. Bindings, negates, melody out. Um, I don't know if any of these bindings. I do kind of like bindings. Like they could have like phoenix and stuff. We got seal aways. Now we don't need the bindings. All right, need to cut two more. We'll cut a couple of the fairies. Yeah, that looks like a reasonable 60 to keep. Yep, cutting some fairies. So yeah, we have a, another 12 hour stream on Saturday. And we're working our way towards other 12-hour streams. We are at, we are 130 YouTube subscribers away. We're at 1870 on the YouTube subscribers. So if you, um, if you're not following the YouTube channel, you can go follow there, youtubecom MTG. And then we're six people away signing up for Quip, nine people signing up for Harry's. So we should maybe have some more 12-hour 12 12-hour 12 streams here sometime soon. All right, good old tight sticker. No land, no land. Don't play the shock. Ah, uh, they had to land for the shock. Unfortunately, we haven't found white mana yet. I'd like to draw white source. Here, thank you. I'll just play this thing out. We can beat creatures. We can certainly beat creatures with what we got going on here.
So, Resurrected One, I think the the number that a lot of people kind of say with decks um, is usually like if you want to like just buy a like a tier one deck kind of thing is it's usually like um, like a hundred dollars uh, buying like the hundred dollar gem pack and open up the packs usually you get like a tier one deck with that. Uh, if we just drew. Hmm. I mean, I could just seal away one of these and have negate up. They cannot cast risk factor. Risk factor, you know, says target opponent. They can't even target me. So, like, right now they're only, like, looking at Steamkin, which isn't really a problem. But the problem is, is if they find another haste creature... I guess we just give him that. The only thing that really kills us here is like a haste creature or a chain whirler. All right, nice. All right, come on, land. Because now we get to gain a whole lot of life with Lyra if we get this land. Oh my gosh, it's a shock land. No. All right, pass the turn. Chill it. Chillin' on with the sub. Thanks, guys, for getting that hype in there. Thank you, chill chillin' on with that sub in there. Oh, no, a haste creature? Oh, that was just the one thing we couldn't beat here. No. Oh, we were so close. Like, basically anything but haste creature or chain whirler. Lava Run or chain whirler were the only two draws that beat us. Those are the only two. The only two draws in their entire deck that we lost to was a Lava Runner or a Chain Whirler. For those two, they had the two draws, the one before it and that one, and, and they hit they hit it. All right. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, that Shockwave for green made us loss, made us lose. Yeah, that, that's true. If we just didn't have the, the green Shockland in our deck, we would have won that game. Yeah, Firebrand didn't work because of Shalai. All these islands. Oh, but add haste. Oh, right, right, because they just attack. Yeah. Right. It attacks for one. Yeah. Muya with the Twitch Prime sub. Being sub number 10, get into our first goal here. That means we're cracking a pack open after this. Thank you, Muya. Hey, Ranzino also. Just shock next time when I'm at when I'm at one. I don't think it allows you to shock when you're at one. Uh, I don't know, I guess. This is just awful. Thanks, Renzino. All right, we do have too many blue sources in this deck. So we need we need 18 white. We have 17 white. We're gonna need 18 white. Wow. Didn't even get to play. Didn't even get to play a third game. Right, so close to a win, game two, and then we just don't even get to play a third game and uh. <laughs> Yeah, the I mean I guess you try. The noise on Breeding Pool is just really obnoxious and just completely unnecessary. I guess if they have all lands. Oh my gosh. Guess I should have just kept like the one land. 
plane's hand. The one white mana hand. Oh, wait, cancel it. Buying a pack. You know, just the frustration of just like the auto queue right back up. So frustrating. We just couldn't get that. Couldn't get the one land in their game two. We did lose because we have the green source. So the, the green source did just cost us that. All right, we don't have lots of sets to get left that we need cards. Core set 2019 is. A lot of them there. All right, pack time. We'll crack open this. Of course, that 2019 pack here. Mythic. Hey. Got the very best open we possibly could. So that makes that last loss feel a little better. Got a mythic wild card there. Yeah, no, definitely. <clears throat> that was that was a concern we had at the be even the beginning of the the league we we're talking about. We have seventeen white, sixteen blue. Basically, we have the blue that we're you know we wanted the blue early for ops charter course early. That's why we have that much blue. But it I think it is probably too much blue. I think we need to take out an island and add in a plains. Make it 15 and 18. I think that I think that's a change that playing this deck you should make. Also, honestly, the green mana sources are probably just not worth it. That green mana source, mana source, sorry, did cost us that game. We'll see if it. We'll see if we ever win games because of the green mana source. But we did. We did lose that match because of it. Why does the deck hate us? No mana sauce. <laughs> mana sauce is better than mana source. Why does the deck hate us? This isn't like the worst hand. We do need to draw one white mana. And then we have Tithe Taker and it's a fairies. What do y'all think? Yeah, our green sources could just be check lands. That's also true. Instead of shock lands, so we don't have to shock as much. The green sources being check lands would probably help more. We see a keep and lose, a mole, a mole, a mole, a mole. All right, looks like we're mulling. This is the exact same thing that happened last time. The exact same thing as last match. Just only blue mana and then to just singular basic planes. And then into only blue mana. Okay. Well, this time we at least got a Hallowed Fountain. Alright, so we have Tithe Taker into History. Good 2-drop and 3-drop. And hopefully that wins it for us. Maybe our opponent's seven cards can't handle Tithe Taker into history. It's possible they can't. still get there playing against black white vamps vamps is a fun word to say vamps you can try it at home it's a pretty fun one. Oh, look at that clutch negate that clutch negate I would like to cast this radiant destiny negate
Attack. We'll wait for them to like play some kind of good creature before we actually entrancing melody it. There's nothing here to entrancing melody. A 1-3 flyer? Do I just take a 1-3 flyer? I feel like they could have like the Vampire Lord and the Vampire Lord would be something that I would want to take. So we are trading a knight for a vampire, which is not a good trade, but I want to turn on this chart, of course. That was not the best tapping. I should have tapped Island Island in case. I'm glad we didn't draw like a history or something to make me feel silly. Who would have drawn like a history or a splendid angel there? Ooh, Alinda. That's a good card to steal. We need one more mana for Alinda. Yeah, grow that Aladna for me. Thank you. We'll draw this land. I'm feeling it. Zoink. We are on we are on five cards. Yeah, a little more than four, but still doing that. My Linda. Poor Linda. Sorry, we need to move quickly. We could tuck the Skyblade Legion, or we could actually try to find a good card. I like trying to find a good card. Hmm. I really should have seen that coming. True. And that's a pretty decent turn for us, though. <clears throat> we did find a good card. Oh no, Twilight Prophet. That thing's scary. That thing's scary, too. This would be a lot better as Baffling End right about now. Be a lot better as baffling end. So I guess I just trade. I have four life linkers. So they can't trigger a splendid angel. I guess I trade this for Twilight Prophet. They double block. I will take that. They they probably should double block. Because then double blocking means I don't get the angel and everything, because, you know, I'll be dead. 
Jeez. Why couldn't I find some of these things earlier when I had Entrancing Melody? Alright, Op doing its thing. Um... I don't know, keeping keeping that card, we're just not casting it because we're activating our Splendid Angel. Mona is lifelink, so that's why I'm not attacking with like these all these four fours on the ground. But I guess I could just attack with everything. What if I would eh. We're doing just fine in the air. Well, Bishop, not too good to cast. They lose a lot of life and draw a lot of cards. All right, well now they're at four and we have two four Power things in the air. Oh, it's never mind. It's the bit. Okay, I was thinking it was Champion of Dusk. Never mind. I was thinking Champion of Dusk, not Bishop of the Bloodstains. They need to attack with our two-two Life Linker. All right, they did that. Smart. Zoink. Man, our Zoink card's been pretty good. I like Zoink card. Let's see. Let's probably take out our negates. Bring in bindings. They have their own bindings also, but that's okay. What are y'all thinking? Like settle is an option. Um, but as we saw like that game, like they may just not like really attack with a whole lot of thing. Seal away wasn't that good because they just weren't attacking. Do I want like demystify? I don't know. All these cards in here seem pretty reasonable. I guess Tithe Taker is our worst card. We could take out Tithe Takers. Uh, and then just play. Yeah, we could just take out Tithe Takers, play a Baffling End, play a demystify, and play a Settle. We could just do that. Tithe Taker is just trading like with their 1-1s one and stuff. Keep. Ooh, we get to go first? An opponent's so nice. We actually have blue and white mana. No. It's such a rarity. History. 
Just gonna go Dub's history to start with. Um, I do like kind of like having Resplendent Angel being my last threat. You know, I wouldn't mind if they have like whatever enchantment removal thing they want to use. Oh, that's annoying. I should probably block that thing. That is kind of annoying. Because this is only non-token vampire, so if I block that, then they won't have another non-token vampire to attack except for Mavern Fane. That's annoying. Yeah, so except for Mavern Fane, so they have to attack with Mavern Fane if they want to trigger it. Which, you know, I, I would trade Mavern Fane for my other half of history, Banalia. Alright, so plan is hit them with Lyra, gain 5 life, play Resplendent Angel. That's the plan. <laughs> R-U-D-E. Each opponent discards two cards. Well, I'm glad we played Lyra. And say we saved it so we have Lyra Resplendent still, because Lyra and Resplendent can certainly win for us. That's a pretty sweet card. Mind Rot plus Drain. Oh, Hawkeye did his Carnage Tyrant impression, impression. Where he... He's like a dino kitty. Does a stretch and rar. Okay. They do zero damage, and I just get another angel. Because they deal nine, but we gain nine because he's a lifelink. And now we get another angel on their end step. Um, it's not lethal. Man. Lyra plus Resplendent Angel is pretty messed up. you got yeah they could have Kaya's wrath absolutely that could be their card in hand we're going to millions of life All right, just in case they have settle, let's let's make sure we're protected from settle. Oh yeah, it is a theme battle. Vampires versus angels. 
All right, two and one. Okay, we're two and one. Yeah. Two and one, boy. Yeah, some Petal Grove would be better than Temple Garden. Here. So yeah, maybe maybe these these dual lands should just be check lands. If if it was a check land like that other match, we'd be three and zero right now. If the shock land was a check land. This is going to be a tough matchup for us. Wilderness Reclamation is really good against Angels, especially when they're on the play and they have turn 3 Reclamation on the play. This is going to be tough. History presents our fastest clock here. So if you destroy a Baffling End and have a Shalai in play, you won't get the Dinosaur token because the opponent can't target you. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Well, no land drops for them. They haven't found chemistry's inside yet. What do I tuck with the fairy? Like if I tuck the reclamation, the Ascanta just finds the reclamation faster. Tuck to fairy. Guess I can tuck the Ascanta. Yes. Yeah, so Crazy Pyro, you got a quip? Toothbrush? Awesome. All right. Uh, for some reason, you're the third person now that it's not it's not going through. I won't hide. So I'm gonna have to talk to them longer. about that uh, tomorrow. Um, but just just send me you a message a time out. of your. Yeah, let me check here. Yeah, it's just not going through for some reason. Send me a message of like your uh, order number, and no I'll you know I'll tell them. So just, dang. Sorry, so yeah, just send me a whisper, the order number and stuff, and I'll send that to them. Well, good thing. You know what? I'm not done yet. Wow. Well, it scoops it up. All they had were lands and reclamation. 
No chemistry's insight. Like a single chemistry's insight, we're probably dead. All right, binding, demystify, negate, disdainful stroke, vanguards, seal away, melody. Shalai and Lyra are just like pretty slow. But am I supposed to cut all of them? Maybe. That means we only have, I guess we have 16 things that attack. Yeah, that's probably fine. All right, so we're at 15 of 20 quip referrals. Man, y'all are going to really like your toothbrushes. Those quick toothbrushes are awesome. And so Crazy Pyro, if you have if you have a donation deck that you would like me to play anytime, just let me know. And you know, you know, let me know the day, uh, whatever deck, and I'll get you on there. We still have a couple removal spells, like we still have um, Teferi's and Ixalan's bindings if our opponent does have creatures that like we need to deal with, so we're not just like dead to creatures. Been live for over nine and a half hours now. Hmm. This could be a, an okay hand against some decks, but not against Worldness Reclamation, like this is just way too slow. There we go, this is better. We don't have mana for that. So, so we want to just hopefully draw interaction. You know, we have like our four negates. Um, the demystify would be good. Yeah, World Wake was whenever I... Like, I, I played a little bit when I was a kid, but not, not really competitively or anything. So I already knew magic and stuff. But I really started playing in, in World Wake is when I... You know, after college, got back into the game and stuff. <laughs> well, I can still do... I can still do the test alert. So... Yeah, so there we go. So that... For... Um... For Crazy Pyro signing up for Quip there. But yeah, I don't I don't know why today it, it isn't working. I would I would still say just go ahead and you know sign up blind for it. Or blind you because you know you want to get the shipping started, you know. Alright, triple history banalia could end the game pretty quickly. Yeah, basically some some of my friends um, that I hung out with at the time, they were like, hey, we're going over to our friend's house to play some Magic. And I was like, Magic? I remember that game. And then, you know, playing uh, some games with them and everything. And, like, they had, like, their old decks from, like, Revise and stuff. And it got me into playing it. And so then I, I lived, like, a ways away from, from them, like, where I was a teacher at. I was, like, 45 minutes away or so. And so I didn't really do very much like besides teaching so i just downloaded magic online and i just started playing a lot of magic online and just kind of taught myself the game from just playing a bunch of magic online so i did like every day after work and then i guess got got kind of good and then started traveling and started going to like the big tournaments and stuff and i was like wow i'm pretty good at this
my first first few years of playing it, I basically I didn't do very much constructed. I did a whole lot of limited because that was like more fun. So I just did that. I taught geometry. They're all about these blink of an eyes. No. So I think I'm going to chart a course here post combat and kind of make a decision of like what to do, whether to play another history. Um, or see if we draw like counter magic or something. Like these creatures are all lethal. Like we have lethal next turn. Alright, and we did not draw any kind of interaction, did not draw like a disenchant or anything, so just play another history. Yeah, the 15 win thing resets daily, but your uh, your quests, they are either 500 or 750, those carry over for up to, you can have up to three of those at a time. Yeah, so you at least want to win like a couple of games because like your first game is like, you know, 250 gold or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember what it like 200 gold. It's it's a decent amount. All right. Still no negate. So guess we're at the mercy of some fogs. Yeah, 250, 100, 100, 100 card. So yeah, getting those first wins, definitely nice. Yeah, get those first four. Never root snare. It's never root snare. They don't have it. Scry bottom. Concede. Fairy blows up. Never root snare. Y'all are saying always root snare. I'm saying never root snare. Wow. Defeated reclamation. Our hands weren't so good. Well, that's what we got. Three wins. Three and one. And if it all if it only wasn't for our shock our green shock land, we would be four and one. Yeah, let's let's keep this. Let's try to get the, these histories out here. So Cavalier says, if you don't care about constructed, you can basically play draft for free by playing four different accounts to four wins every day. Oh, I guess like why do you need four different accounts for four wins? Just because, um, like basically you're saying that like every four days you get a draft. Kind of thing so like if you have four different accounts like one day you'll do it on one you know you'll you'll hit the plateau on one account you know like each of the four days that makes that makes sense no we uh we needed to hit a fifth land for lyra we needed to draw a land for lyra and we were at one life and we drew a shock land No chart of coursing for you, is it, opponent?
So if they're shocking, does that mean they have? Hmm. They have a shock. What do they want to do with the other two mana? I'm I'm being greedy here. Opting, looking for a land. I wanted that land drop. Ah, radical idea. So they're a Phoenix deck. Not Drakes. So it's Phoenix. Since so they have a radical idea. Yeah, I don't I just don't really care about best of one too much. I know it's you know it's another format and everything, but it's just not one that excites me at all. So not really planning on making any best of one decks in the future for right now. I really like sideboarding and everything and I Best of one decks just really reward it having incredibly, like a, a really linear deck that you can do, like whatever your deck does, do it as best as it, as it can every single game. And you want to curve out and you want to, you know, do your thing. You know, whether it's even, you know, like even like the linear control deck, like where you just want to, you know, blank your opponent's removal and have the most controlly deck you can and all that kind of stuff. I like mid-range decks. I like, you know, playing playing mid-range battles and stuff. Uh, by the way, I was actually planning on playing Teferi here. I just kind of accidentally played the Lyra while I was talking there. But because of Beacon Bolt here, I was I was honestly planning on playing the Teferi and trying to and starting to draw cards and everything. But I guess I have the Lyra in play now. Thanks, Badonk. Glad you're yeah, glad you like the Grixis discard deck. That's what we got up next. Yeah, Bacon Bolt. Bacon Bolt kills angels and I, therefore I don't like it. Have they thrown they haven't even thrown a Phoenix in the graveyard yet. Yeah, this is Azorius mid-range. There's some Temple Gardens, so you can activate Shalai. They have not been very good. We've been having to shock ourselves too much. Okay. Let's skip to the good part. I guess I can play around Spell Pierce by playing the island. If they're playing Radical Idea, they're playing Phoenix. More crackling drakes. We would be a turn closer to ultimating this to fairy. Um. Keep up the pace. Could be a turn closer there uh, if I would have played the Teferi instead of the Lyra. 
We could be like looking to ult to fairy this turn. So I can trade Resplendent Angel for Crackling Drake or Shall I for Crackling Drake. I can trade either one. <clears throat> you know, I can activate Shall I or activate Resplendent Angel. Still no Phoenix, which is good. Uh, there's a Phoenix. All right, Phoenix is back. So would I rather have Resplendent or Shalai trade? I get to keep one alive. If they attack with both. Yeah, I'm thinking keeping Resplendent alive also. We can activate it. <clears throat> Hmm. Having Shalai on the battlefield means that they cannot shock my Teferi, though. I think I'm going to block with Resplendent. I think I like them not being able to shock the Teferi. Okay, you're in the way. Hold that thought. Ooh, that's pretty good. Can you just move out of the way? Why don't you come to my lap? Nope. You just really want to be up there. Yeah, going for the Teferi ult. I could attack them down to two. All right, so we need bindings, settles, and negates. That seems like that's too much. Tithe taker probably doesn't matter. Like, does tithe taker and history banale really matter? Ah, I got cat hair on my nose. This is a really high curve. Baffling End is really good against the Electromancer. You know, it doesn't do anything else, but it's really good against Electromancer. So we could just play some removal for Electromancer, or I could play like a couple histories. Um, Adonto Vanguard's actually good, kind of. I guess it's it's better against regular Drakes. Um, yeah, let's just have some baffling ends for removal for Electromancer. Disdainful Stroke counters Crackling Drake, and kind of nothing else. They could have Ral that it counters. Guys, laying out. We 
We're gonna draw lands. We'll probably draw some lands. Melody has been really, really good for our deck. That is certainly true. We have really liked Melody. Settle is not a land. Not something I wanted to draw. That is also not a land. Not something I wanted to draw. <laughs> yeah, our opponent is... That's, that's a good point. Our opponent is kind of telling us what they're doing. Phoenix Reborn. With negate in their post board, they will have a lot more interaction. Uh, that I want to use negate to be able to protect, uh, like my angels to fairy, maybe countering stuff like bacon, like whether it's like bacon bolt or like their negates or disdainful stroke or whatever. They're gonna have more things like that for negate. I agree, negate's not not as good game one, um, but usually post board gets better. And when we have something, something as important as like, like Lyra, and and stuff, being able to protect it is, is nice. That disdainful stroke, of course, is great against Crackling Drake, but that's like the kind of the only thing. See, so yeah, I like. I like countering charter courses. I'm countering their draw twos. So the fact that they didn't just opt on their turn, I mean, well, just keeping opt as an instant is usually good, but they probably have, they probably have like their own counter magic. I mean, I think that's basically game. Just really obvious settle now that we're going to be, like, taking a bunch of damage. Sculpted Mind with that sub again for the third month. Thanks again for keeping the stream awesome. My son even looks forward to watching it after school. Aw. I'm well, glad to have y'all in here. Um, I'm gonna try to have this settle. Sub number twelve on the day. Maybe no counter spell. Blah. See, that's what our negates are supposed to do after sideboarding, but you know we don't have the lands. Doesn't help. All right, one and one. Can we? Uh, pick up this next win. Hey, Ice Up Sun! Getting that Twitch Prime sub going again. Thank you so much for being on top of that and resubbing there. Lands? No. Lands? No. Tech, we need lands. Just want lands. Ugh. Ugh. These ugly breeding pools and temple gardens. All right, we're back at five. One on five earlier, but that was against vampires, not against drakes. Drakes is the better of the clans. Alright, perfect time to draw Baffling End. It's 
slow them down. No. Oh, cool. Met at SCG Richmond uh, a couple years ago. Nice. He just started playing MTG and made day two. There you go. Good job. I don't think I want to just shock to have settle on one Phoenix. That just doesn't seem like... You know, it's like the most obvious settle. One, and then two, it's just taking out one Phoenix. You know, so we're like saving one point of damage with that. Binding's nice. That's a good draw. Talked for a few minutes and you really encouraged me. Oh. Well, I'm glad you've uh, continued the, the Twitch Prime subs here. I'm glad you're here in the, in the stream and everything. So now this should be another Phoenix. Unfortunately, with with us, uh, two more Phoenixes. All they need is another counter spell, and with us being stuck on mana again, I can't. I can't protect our my settle the wreckage at all. Again, same thing as last game. Same thing. It's better if we have negates and mana, but we don't have negates and mana. All right, so we ended up going three-two. A couple disappointing games there at the end, but that's part of magic that happens. But our deck played pretty well. Uh, the the main thing that was really impressive was honestly the main deck. Uh, Entrancing Melodies. Entrancing Melody looked really good for us. Um, that was like the the biggest thing to be that I was impressed with. Uh, we already talked about uh, removing one one blue source for a white source, and then the other thing that I would definitely do is just get rid of the shock lands. And like, if you want the green sources for the Shalai, which we did have one game that first game against Drake's there where the green sources did stuff. But yeah, I think I would prefer playing the buddy lands here to try not to take as much damage. I think that would be better. Um, so. All right, so that's uh, Azorius Midrange. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, one, thanks for watching. And two, I'll see you for the next video.